In mid-October of 2016, one of the most significant distributed denial-of-service, more commonly known as DDoS, attacks left most of the U.S. East Coast unable to access the internet. The attack was so severe that American authorities quickly blamed it on hostile nation-states when it was in fact the Mirai botnet's handiwork. The Mirai botnet, created by some angsty teenage hackers, was not designed to cause this grand scale of chaos, but it grew far beyond the creator's expectations. What started as a method for the creators to steal a little money from Minecraft players turned into a story of unintended consequences and unanticipated global information security threats. To understand what happened and how it could have been prevented, I will need to start with a little bit of background. First, what's a botnet? In summary, a botnet is a collection of internet-connected devices, bots, under control from some remote third party. In most cases, the compromised devices are under some malicious actor's control who can do anything they want, almost always without the owner's knowledge. Those that control the botnet have a powerful, hacked-together supercomputer to use for anything they want. Most commonly, these botnets are used to send out spam emails. In the case of Mirai, it was designed to perform massive denial-of-service attacks. Traditionally, these networks are made up of compromised PCs. But at the beginning of 2016, there were nearly 8.4 billion IoT devices already connected to the internet. The vast majority of these devices were ripe for the picking, and Mirai took advantage of these plentiful and insecure devices. Mirai was able to track down vulnerable IoT devices without complex technical wizardry of any kind. Rather than some complex and circuitous attack method, Mirai took advantage of the plentiful, insecure IoT devices simply and cleverly. Mirai simply scanned large CIDR blocks of the internet, looking only for open Telnet ports. Once an available Telnet port was found, the malware would attempt to log into the device using 61 well-known username and password combinations. The botnet was used for its first big wave of attacks on September 19, 2016 against the French internet hosting company OVH. It was later revealed that OVH was hosting a popular service used to fight DDoS attacks on Minecraft servers. Shortly after this, the creator posted the code online. Less than a month later, on October 12th, the big attack happened. The big attack was against a massive internet infrastructure company called DIN, which among other services provides DNS services to many large websites. The attack caused the East Coast to lose access to the internet, and people worldwide lost access to vital and popular websites that had their DNS service managed by DIN. If any of those affected by this massive botnet had been using IoT Secure solutions, the impact would have been greatly reduced. Our solution is specifically designed to help you manage unmanaged devices in myriad ways. In the case of Mirai, the primary advantage would be knowing all the devices on your network. And second, you will get notifications and alerts on any device that still uses default passwords. Mirai would never have worked if people had changed these default passwords and turned off unnecessary services like Telnet. 
Learn more today about IoT Secure and what we can do to help you protect all your unmanaged devices at iotsecure.io.